What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two effects that I wanna talk about inside DaVinci Resolve that are really easy to do and can elevate your video. The first one is rapid zoom effect. To accomplish the rapid zoom effect, I have a bunch of photos right here that I already got. They're all about 10 frames long. You can make this however long or short you would like it to be. I have found I like it about 10 frames long. So if we played it through, it's just going to flash between them just like so. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift spacebar on a Mac. I can search adjustment clip. I can grab that, double click it and drop it right in there. Or we could go over here to effects. We could click on effects and grab an adjustment clip just like so and drop it on just the same either one will work it comes down to your preference now we are going to need one more thing and i am going to go to open effects and i am going to search for transform again you could do this just the same by hitting shift spacebar or you could search for it just like that i'm going to add that onto our adjustment clip and then i'm going to go ahead and just trim this up quite a bit to about two of the clips right here i'm going to click on it i'm going to go over here to the zoom i'm going to add a keyframe on zoom I am gonna to go to where I'm at the end of the clip and go over one more frame, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom this in to about one, three, one, four, something like that. That looks pretty good. And then I'm also gonna to go to the animation, and I am gonna turn up the motion blur to about eight or nine, I found to be what I kinda of like. I like having the keyframe a little past where it needs to be, so it's not going to stop. Then I'm going to trim this up to right where it should be. I am going to hold option on a Mac and click it at the same time. And I'm just going to bring it over and duplicate it just like so on every one of our clips. And then I'm going to play that through. And you've got a very simple rapid clip effect. And if you wanted to change out the photos, it doesn't matter because if we shut this off, all of the effects are in the adjustment clip above. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk about today's sponsor, and that is Artless. Nano Banana is here. Google's mind-blowing AI image generator and editor is now on Artlist. Let me tell you, it is absolutely mind-blowing. For example, I loaded an image in and said, make this truck all red and have a volcano exploding in the background, and this is what I got. Pretty freaking impressive. It turned the truck red just like I wanted and gave me an amazing volcano in the background. Another example I did was loading an image plus my thumbnail saying, put the person in the room and remove the text. Also put the guy in a suit. It's got me looking all nice and snazzy. It's even got my arms where they need to be. It's looking really good. And then for one more crazy example, I loaded me, Taylor Swift, in a rain jacket image all up in it. I asked it, have the guy and the girl standing together on the beach in yellow raincoats as it's raining and there is lightning in the background and people are surfing. And of course, it doesn't even blink and gives me a multitude of options. Of course, there is so many other things Artlist has to offer. They've got amazing music, sound effects, stock videos. They've got overlays, presets, you name it. They're that one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. I'll have a link in the description below. If you're wanting to check out Artlist, use that link when you sign up and you get two extra free months on a yearly subscription. Thank you so much, Artlist, for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. For the second effect, we have the write on slash type on. So I'm gonna show you, I've got two different versions. So the first one I did is a type on. It's just gonna type right on the screen just like so. It gives a very kind of Marvel style where sometimes it just flashes up or types on real quick, as well as we have the other version, which is the draw on, and it's actually kind of drawn on as if it was more handwritten. So I'm gonna show you how to do both. So I'm gonna go to effects, I'm gonna go to titles, and I'm gonna grab a text plus. I'm gonna drop that right on top of here. I am going to change the title to whatever I want. I just did space, and then we are also going to change the font to whatever we want, as well as sizing it up. I'm also going to adjust the tracking, and I think that looks good right here. Now, what I personally like to do is I like to add a keyframe on tracking and then go a little bit further in it and add another keyframe, maybe go back to the beginning, and I'm gonna actually size it down a little bit, something like so. Maybe go back to that last one. I'm gonna space it out a little bit more, no pun intended, space. Then I'm gonna scroll down here to where we see right on. I am gonna add a keyframe right there. And then I'm gonna to go to the beginning and I am going to drag it all the way to where nothing is on there. Then if we play that through, you can see it is typed on just like so and it looks good. You can of course drag this out if you wanted, fade it out if you wanted so it's just not a complete ending it on there. The write on version is not that complicated but you need to do it inside of Fusion. 
So we are gonna grab a text plus just the same. I'm again gonna change the font, the size, and any of the spacing to something I want. Because we're doing a more handwritten effect, I'm gonna do more of a handwritten title to make it look a little bit more realistic. Once you're happy with that, we're gonna hop inside of Fusion, and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So we need to click on the template that's actually the title itself. I'm gonna hit Shift Spacebar, and we are gonna look for a mask paint right here. We're gonna click that, we're gonna add it. It is going to take it away. So I suggest going over here under the inspector tools mask, I am going to invert it so we can see it. I'm gonna go all the way back to the very beginning and then I am going to make sure I am clicked on the stroke. Then I'm gonna to go to the stroke controls and then I am going to drop down stroke controls as well as brush controls. I am going to size this green stroke size up to make sure it's covering up completely the full line. Mine is working fine. I'm gonna turn the softness down quite a bit and I am going to go ahead and do right on. I'm gonna again, make sure I'm right at the very beginning. I am going to click and once I do, I'm gonna start drawing on this. If you mess up, I suggest just going back and starting all over again. I want this to be as clean as possible. I am not letting go. See, I messed up two times there, so we're just gonna start from the beginning. You want this to be as clean as possible and you do not want to let go of the mouse until you are done. Once you do a letter, we're just gonna go on to the next letter just like so. And then we let go at the end and you can see all the keyframes popped up. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck invert so we can see it because we want it to write on, not write off. Then we're gonna to go to the top where it says keyframes and we can see all these keyframes. We wanna make sure we're on mask and we are on stroke one right here. I am going to make sure I have in selected. I'm gonna hit this little arrow right here, the zoom to fit so I can see everything. I am going to highlight all of those keyframes because that's a lot. That is a whole lot of keyframes. I'm gonna right click on it. I am gonna go to time stretch. Then I'm just gonna go to the end right here where I can see it and I'm just gonna kind of just shrink this up a bit so it goes a lot faster. I'm gonna play that through, see how I like the speed of that. Hop back into the editor right here, play that through and you can see it draws on just like so. You can again extend that out, fade it out, whatever you're wanting to do and you got a really nice draw on effect. There you go, two simple effects inside DaVinci Resolve. I hope you learned something and like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. If you wanna see more videos about DaVinci Resolve, let me know in the comments below. You're amazing, I'm the Iron Giant. See y'all next time, peace.